Three cheers for the postman, the jolly old postman, with letters for Steve, Beryl and Kerry, a load in their sack, a hump on their back, and a pain in their Marie Corelli. The soldier sees sights in the battle, the sailor sees sights in the depths, but a postman sees sights in the morning, when dog muck is being scraped off the steps. At each door I knock I prepare for a shock, some slip on an old dressing gown, some slip on a cloak, some slip on a coat, and some slip down the stairs rushing down. I've delivered at every house in the town, barring one house I've not been there yet. Nobody writes there, nobody goes there, so why should I go? Well, it says to let. These legs that I wear are not my own pair, talk of bunions and chilblains I've got them. Through tramping the street I've worn out my feet, these shoes are wearing out of the bottom. The dogs on my round are so vicious, last Friday there was a right schmozzle. After giving one a treat I got chased down the street after squeezing him right on his schnozzle. Some postman would read all the postcards, but I'm not that kind, no I'm not. I don't think it's right to read what people write, do you? Okay, I'll read you the lot. <clears throat> Dear Ma, when you open this postcard you will see all the news I've not got. I'm not living here, I was removed last year, so do not come round and see where I'm not. Dearest sister, I hope you get this message, please answer it once and I'll know. My wife has fled, our little dog's dead. I hope you're doing the same, Brother Joe. My dad Roger was a postman before me. Grandad Donald, great granddad Percival too. Three generations in one photo. Since 37, gentries have worn royal blue. In 2014, my dad was awarded. 50 years service no one had foreseen. His contributions were finally recognised. It's only fitting someone notified the Queen. So hats off to the jolly old postman, who always tried to do what's fair and right. He hasn't any playtime, he sorts males in the daytime, and he's busy sorting females out at night.